WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We take a look at our screens out here. We've got a sea of green. Nearly all the sectors inside the S&P trading the upside. All the U.S. indices that we track are doing that. You've got the Dow up 172 points, about a half percent, one percent for the S&P, 54 points there, one and six tenths for the Nasdaq, 297, seven tenths for the Russell, 15 points, two and a quarter percent for the semis, 107 there. Trainees are up slightly, but basically flat out there. If we take a look at Goldilocks up seven bucks with silver down 27 pennies. Lake Three Crude is off a buck. Natural gas off two pennies. 30 year treasure up 19 ticks, printing out at 123.29. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We'll begin with the ES Mini upper left hand side. What do we know about it? Well, it is taking on resistance. That resistance being the top of its profile, that's at 5408.50. The price is able to close above that. Well, what we'll do is during the Trader's Edge show, we'll take a look at the weekly and the monthly charts for the ES Mini, and I'll be able to be a price target there. The uh, price target should be to the upside, continue to be the upside out here. Why? Because the spot volatilics is trading, uh, is trading above its 50-day exponential moving average, but it's moving to the downside. We haven't seen the high of a prior candle taken out uh, since the uh, trading session of August 5th. This suggests to Stevie that price should go target the 1725 level. That's the 50 day. You've got the new NQ, which is trading with inside its profile. You can see a descending trend line. So we're nearing resistance here. We we'll want to take a look at the intraday charts on the NQ just to see if this resistance level is of any significance. If we take a look at the US dollar index, it needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the D point pattern. Basically, it's consolidating with inside profile. Goldilocks also running into a trend line, much like the NQ. And if price is able to close above the trend line, we should see a move up to the 2537 level. You've got silver that has a buy the D point bottom pattern with price trading inside its profile. It's got a sell zone that's between the 2821 and 2935 level. Lightspeed crude at uh, yesterday closed above profile. It did run into some trend line resistance out there, but overall the condition is bullish. If we take a look at the natural gas contract, is trying to target its most recent high. That's the high from July 22nd. And we'll do that as long as price remains above the top of its daily profile. And that's at 212. And to close it off, you've got to sell the D point pattern inside of the 30 year charts. That took place about six, seven days ago. However, Price remains above the top of its daily profile. So I'd have to say its overall signal is more neutral than it is bearish. But this could be, I say could be, setting up a C point of an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, have a terrific one. And we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.